the new IMX 50 series. What is, what is this? Well, this is the first court, first product out in market to integrate the Cortex 8 engine along with the EPD controller. So here we have three different configurations of our EVK. Here's the here's the EVK that you see, and you will find this EVK on this product on the bottom of here and on the bottom of here. The first demonstration that we have is our what we call Saber platform for e-readers. And it really demonstrates what you can do. It's a development platform. It lets you... Uh, it, this is a demonstration of how fast you can uh, do a page turn. And it also, we can bring up uh, the other applications. We also have an animation application. This is running Android, as you can see. What is this touchscreen? It's, it it's a built-in capacitive touchscreen that comes along with a version of the e-ink panel. Here we have, we're running at 8 frames per second. And over here we also have the uh, handwriting demo. And it's kind of like, you know, what you can do with it. You know, we can do uh, 16 concurrent updates at the same time. So over here, the next demonstration that you see is the color uh, version of the EPD screen from EE, 9.7 inch. And it's going through some pictures so you can see how uh, how, how far we've come with the color EPD, how vibrant the colors are. So, you have the 507, the 503, how do you... How... Right, so we have uh, four versions of the 50. We have the 508, which comes with the EPD controller and the OpenVG engine. And the 507 comes with the EPD controller, but without the uh, OpenVG engine. And then we also have the 502 and 503 for LCD applications. So on the left here, you see that we are running the Ubuntu desktop. It's currently running a video, H.26 video at 30 frames per second. Uh, right now uh, we disabled the touchscreen, but uh, I can bring up the mouse, and we can kind of. I'll let you. Uh, we can close this out for a second, and you can see that how we're running the Ubuntu desktop. So here we see it's pretty smooth. That's uh, 503. This is a yeah. This is a 503 or 502. The difference between the 503 and the 502 is the 502 does not have the OpenVG uh, uh, engine. So what is the difference between the IMX51 or 53 and the fi IMX503 or 502? So the IMX50 the was specifically built in mind for e-readers. So it lacks the BPU, it lacks, it lacks the 3D engine, but it does have the 2D engine. So we've created the 508 with e-readers in mind. But at the same time, we feel that the product is perfect for LCD applications as well. We have an enhanced LCD controller, which lets you uh, go up to a resolution of X, SXGA+. Plus. So as you can see, you can create uh, streamlined applications based on the LCD. All right. Uh, when, are all these, uh, when is this platform launched officially? So officially, it's going to launch July 11th. So you'll have the ability to purchase the EVKs along with the EPD panels or the LCD on July 11th. And uh, e-readers with the 508 already shipping? Well, there's, uh, as you can see, there are, if you did a teardown of a particular e-reader that just came out, uh, you, you would find the 508 in it as well. So uh, it was recently in the news, launched. How much more performance is there in the 508 compared to the previous uh, e-reader Bauhaber Freescale? Well, the previous generation of e-readers was based upon an ARM 11. So if you look at the ARM 11 and step up to the Cortex A8, that's a pretty significant difference uh, for things like you know processing power, PDF decode, etc. And uh, in the UIs, or uh, does it change some, something in there? The UIs. Be able, now you're able to run Android smoothly and you wouldn't really consider doing that before? or? No, I think we could have. It's just uh, I think our customers are both interested in Linux and Android. So. How many? How many uh, e-readers are going to use Android now? Well, you know, there's going to be a handful out there. I think you have about three or four out there in the market, maybe more. So, and the rest are using Linux. All right. Cool.